Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, West Indy Collection. If you're new, welcome to my channel. So, I, before we get into it, there is just some things that I most definitely, definitely, definitely would like to address, you guys. And, you know, I just want you guys to know that my, I, my channel is positive. I don't condone bullying, you know, um trying to be negative towards somebody or you know be messy or you know just a negative person like that's definitely not what my channel is about so i just want to like clear that up um by the way i just got off from work i have a headache now but i'm going to do the video for you guys so just bear with me you guys because now like i'm just not feeling too good but i'm only doing this video just to clear the air and because i do have a lot of new subscribers and you know i know a lot of you guys came from his channel so i'm a real person and this is actually something to me this part is you know definitely personal and you know so for me to like really put myself out there of what i'm about to say it is like a step for me because like I tell like I put my business out there and stuff but I'm still a very private person believe it or not so yeah this video is basically going to be about me clearing the air on some things regarding Marcus from Atlanta Street interviews and I'm going to clear some other things don't mind me, you guys. I just had a curly hair day. I just slipped my hair back at work since I clean. So don't mind me if I think a little, if I look a little crazy on camera. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, just make sure you guys are liking this video, hitting the push notifications, subscribing to my YouTube channel, and let's get me to 10K subscribers. Once we get there, we're gonna keep on going up, up, up. But um, yeah, and let's get this video to 1K likes or more, and let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so yeah, this video is going to be about basically like clearing the air. So I'm gonna tell you guys everything, okay? But before I get into about Marcus, I just wanna clear the guy O'Shea that I recently did a video of and in the beginning, well, um, when I did the video, um, reacted to what he, you know, the video he did about me, I, honestly didn't know he was going to like say his own inputs about me on his channel so i did a reaction out of it boom i didn't know he was going to make a whole nother video about me recently and i can honestly say i don't like the fact that he's using me to just try to get more views to his channel because i feel like he it's one thing for me to tell my story like say someone interview me but it's another when somebody is like mixing your story around or starting to tell lies i feel like he's basically putting me on his platform and it's making me look bad to like his subscribers um because of how he switched things around and kind of switches my story around or just try to make me seem like i'm just some bad person and i don't like that like if you're gonna share my story Please make sure you have the facts or that you hear it from me. Don't go trying to make a video like just so you can get views off of me, but you're trying to put me in a bad light. And now all the comments, people are saying like bad things about me. Like it's one thing for people to have their opinion, you know, but at the same time, I just feel like the direction he's going with it is he's like trying to make me look bad and I do not appreciate that. So that's what I have to say from that point on um another thing so that's yeah pretty much what i want to clear is i do not think it's okay for him now to keep trying to use me in his videos like because it's not like it's giving positive platform you know speaking of about the whole market situation i saw someone recently commented saying how um you know make your channel about business or business savvy or something first of all i know how to be professional and his channel his channel targets a certain type my channel baby my channel is not his channel okay 
I post a little bit of everything. I post controversy. I post my life experiences. So you may say one thing like he's not posting about me on his channels because why would he put me on his channel to talk about us when his whole channel is not him putting people that he, I guess, was with or something on there. It's about strictly interviewing homeless people. So like I was saying, that's his channel, but my channel is different over here. If I have something I want to talk about, best believe, baby, I'm going to talk about it, okay? Another thing is, this is going to be the last time, meaning after I talk to you guys about this, I'm not going to make no more videos regarding Marcus. Like, this is just basically me having my final say-so and, you know, just me keeping it real, but I don't want my channel... Cause I honestly move on from that, but people keep commenting, like, I guess trying to be nosy or just want to know the real truth. Like, I don't got nothing to hide. I just didn't feel the need to put all my business out there, but that's why I'm going to do this video and just set the, let the truth be free. Hopefully this gives closure to people on his page or if this helps you in any type of way, but I'm not gonna address this no more. Even if he do respond back, I'm not gonna address it because I know I'm truthful. I'm truthfully being genuine in what I'm saying, and there's no need for me to lie. One thing I'm not gonna do is lie on my channel. Like I'm a real person, so yeah. So let's get into it. Okay, so basically, the video where when I was put on the hot seat when I was at his house, right? So you guys, I did what well, we both admitted on camera that we didn't do nothing with each other, which was the truth. But I'm not gonna lie, that same day, we, were, we had some drinks. He's a smoker. I haven't smoked, you know, weed in a minute. So I hit, I hit his blunt with him. And I was, you know, I was feeling good off that, off liquor. And yeah, so I think we ended up leaving though, because he had to do something. Then he, we ended up coming back to his apartment, I think. I think that's what happened. It either happened right after that video or we left and then he ended up taking me back, which he didn't tell me he was taking me back to his apartment. It was kind of like he just took me back there because he probably knew or thought he was gonna get something from me like I could kind of tell he's feeling me like he wanted to try me like I'm not stupid but I think that was the whole point of me taking me back to his place because he didn't tell me like you know so basically you know he started like with the whole like you know like trying to touch on me and I'm like you know this is feeling real good and stuff so yeah you guys me and him, me and Marcus did have sex. One time thing, it was a one time thing, you guys. And I could say it is because of me feeling the way I was feeling within the moment, for sure. And so basically, you guys, basically, so that happened, right? Um. So pretty much like when it came to that point, one thing just started like leading to another. And then that's when we were like on his couch or he was leading me to his couch. And I'm not gonna lie, like he went down on me. And then that's the when we ended up going back to his room. And I obviously, he didn't brought it up. I had to bring it up about the whole condom thing. And that's when he acted as if he didn't have one, but I had one. <laughs> I had one in my purse, so we used the one that was in my purse. So basically, that's what we used. We used we did protection, like we had protection. But I won't say like we took forever because I I kind of feel like he kind of struggled down there because it was a condom because he did admit it to me that he don't do well with them and stuff and that he doesn't like them. But obviously, I was gonna let him take it off. So. It was kind of one of them situations and like i said it wasn't like it was like forever or anything like that and eventually like we left but and then i remember like when he was like trying to talk to me like he kept like trying to like you know when his hand was down there on him like 
it's just like touch it. I'm, I have this thing where I feel like I don't like when dudes touch too much and then touch like the actual condom because I feel like germs get on it for some reason. So I'm like, ugh, like I feel we were like picky sometimes when it comes to stuff like that. But yeah, that's basically what happened. So this was when I was obviously single and everything, you know. And so eventually, like, after that was cool, and eventually I ended up talking to my boyfriend again, and you know, and that's when I hooked up with Marcus again because he had something that belonged to me, and then we were gonna, we was talking about some other things, you know. It was like you know, supposed to be like a cool like meetup thing, and then so. If you watched my previous video about him, about me declining him and how like I felt like he played me in my face at his crib. Alright, so that same day I was expressing to him how um like from after we met or whatever, like, you know, how I was kinda like feeling like a little itchy or whatever and how I went to get tested. And when we were talking, he was he admitted I was like, cause I was like, when was the last time you got tested? He gonna say from February. I'm like February that's you gotta get tested like now like ASAP because I I don't know about you but me as a woman anytime I get a new partner whether we use a condom or not I always love to get tested that always been about me when I was in the porn industry everything I always got tested and because I don't play about my health I really don't anything I may notice about myself I'm quick to go to the doctors so I have like notice like I felt like off and on like a little itching down there so I don't know if I told him that what I thought it was in person I think I probably did um I guess I did admit it about the whole pharmacy thing um because I wanted him basically I wanted him to take me to like Walgreens or whatever so I could get a plan B but anywho from like me previously like with my boyfriend but um yeah so I basically I did tell him something like that and I told him that I got tested but my test results wasn't back yet the moment I chilled with him that day so before I get to that I would like to read you guys because the only another like another thing another reason why I'm also doing this video is because I wasn't gonna do it you know because I noticed he commented on my video about him and then so basically um what was i gonna say oh yeah so basically that video that i made about him i saw that he commented i don't know if it's because he wasn't getting like no attention on his post that he responded back to me on my post about but when i was trying to go back to it because i was like thinking hmm, should i reply should i not and i was gonna eventually reply so i know how like sometimes my um youtube like refreshes it like and like have me start all over so i have wrote what I, my response that i was gonna say to him on my notes just to have proof you know this case whether i decide to like respond to him or not right so basically um i guess somebody beat me to it and or beat him to it before he he deleted his comment off my video i never deleted anything i did i never blocked him like I like recently unfriended him off my Twitter and unsubscribed from his YouTube channel, but I never deleted his comment and I never like blocked him. But I did unsubscribe and I did unfollow him from my Twitter. That's it. No need for me to lie. But because he, the things that he was saying, how he's just lying and stuff, he's just a lying. And then I guess somebody said that when someone shared, his screenshot of the comment that he did post it somebody said that he said that he never deleted it and that like he was blocked or something that's a lie i never deleted anything so i'm gonna um i try to like take a picture off this phone it's not an iphone or not like that so it's not showing super clear i'm gonna try to read you the best of my ability the way he said about me and i'm going to tell you guys basically my response to everything so he's gonna say so you're gonna tell the truth wait so you're gonna oh so you're gonna tell half the truth shaking my head tell them the whole truth if you're gonna expose me this is pathetic you chase me down every time we linked um i've got all the text messages we had already uh this is so hard to read you have 
we have already smashed at this point, but with the condom, still uh, shit was trash. We agree that condom sex is mild, is mid, and if we want it raw to go get tested before we do. I was good with that, but of course, I was good with that, of course, and didn't push the issue after that. But I did point out the flawed logic of you letting your ex nut inside you two days beforehand even though y'all aren't together and that you don't and that you don't know where he's been with you said that you knew if you had something because you know your body that's why you had me drop you off that pharmacy so you could buy a plan b because you were complaining about i think he's trying to say like something about knocked up or something like that that's when you up by bones that's when you try comparing your situations to Dre and Michelle and I simply pointed out the obvious which is that which is that while you are definitely beautiful they are extreme um while you are beautiful no while you are definitely beautiful they are extremely beautiful I thought I screenshot the right part but I don't know it's something like because um something because we left so tired of you half truth telling I'm so sorry, you guys, but there's no other way I could, like, screenshot it because I don't have nothing else to screenshot it off of. Truth telling, um, oh, truth telling woman. If you're going to tell it, tell the whole truth and, and blank it, but shaking my head. I did nothing but try to help you. Definitely was not the aggressor, even though, um, expecting where we did the rooftop interview, you chased me down all weekend and I only did it to give you a, um, a boost something this is how you repay my kindness because i don't agree but you because i disagree that you are 10 out of 10 yeah okay you got it girly do anything for clout he said something like that i'm sorry guys i tried to read it the best i could so first of all if my stuff was trash i haven't ever had a dude tell me my stuff was trash or ever to like my face or anything like and if i was so trash what makes you think i won't want to be in the porn industry doing what i do if i'm so trash like, he just, I feel like he's just saying that because he's obviously mad, you know, that I basically made a video about him, but, or like trying to say that to hurt me. But, and I, uh, it's funny because I say this in the past. I was like, if a dude thought myself was trash, oh, well, I don't care. Like, they can say what they want to say about me. Like, <laughs> I don't care. Like, <laughs> but no, like, <laughs> I think he was just trying to say that to be smart, just try to like make me look bad or try to make me look like I'm weak or something. But no. I, I'm not upset about that comment whatsoever. But oh well. <laughs> um, and about the whole me being an aggressor and everything, I never had to chase Marcus down for anything. He was the one who told me um I should do a reaction video to O'Shea. He was the one um who came up with the idea. Cause I did when I was staying in a, the hotel, I mentioned something to him. I was like um hey can you just and i think this has something to do with tiktok not even his youtube i was like hey can you give me like another like shout out or something so people could try to help cash at me some more um and then he was like his something about his subscribers usually do it like once so then he came up with this idea like you should like mention something about starting your only fans again so like the dudes can now try to like subscribe to your only fans to try to help you make money he was the one who suggested that and um and obviously like i was down to like do like a kind of like update like video and to like basically re reply to someone like the comments that he had on his page that's pretty much all it was but i'd have to chase him down or anything he suggested that and um yeah like i the thing is i never had to chase him down for anything so he's basically trying to make a post just trying to make me look bad or like i'm the one like i need him and everything which is completely like false like if anything he'd be hitting me up saying oh so i just want to interview you or you know um he was he was the one who was like oh we should like be like do like a hookup thing you know something for like the viewers or something like that um but this want to be like a long-term thing i kind of like i think he did with one of his exes but like he'll try to like use you for fun and everything and then boom that's why he said females get hooked hooked on at him and stuff act like they would don't want to leave but i never thought nothing like that with him he was the one who did it and i could tell like 
he would act like he'll may try to regret it because he regret it because he know like i probably wouldn't be with it because he'll like try to like smile or he'll be like oh i should never said this or i'm gonna regret this by tomorrow so it's like he try to like test me but without knowing like that i'll probably like say no and not be with it but he's like he kind of still threw it out there just try to put the idea in my head but no i'm not no one to play around with that's to me that's me backtracking like i know the type of woman i am the direction i want to go in life i'm not about to be a little play thing for your channel nothing like that or whatever but no i never had to be aggressive to him or anything but yeah you guys it's not like i was hiding the fact that i slept with him it's just honestly that time when we did that hot seat we didn't do anything it happened after and then um and then also i didn't really feel the need to like because what does that have to do with that? I mean, I used, I did protection with him. And like I said, it wasn't just some random thing. I just wanted to sleep with him. No, it was kind of like I said, I was feeling it. I was feeling good. I was in his home when this happened. So maybe like the opportunity just happened. But it was like nothing more like to it, you know. And I don't know he's not trying to come for me. Like, because he's not all that downer anyway. And I remember when I was like, you never hooked up with like, you know, no S. A worker or whatever he'll be like i never really do well like um with um i see why because you don't like to use condoms and i know that most of them will probably allow you to use a condom and if you can't get hard down there or really know how to you know have fuck much you think they're gonna want to of course you know that may not be a great experience for you and then people are like well i hope like he, uh he paid you uh to do that and to be honest like he i didn't charge him um you guys also have to understand like i've been stopped doing sex work so you know i haven't been in that type of mindset like obviously lately in my life because i haven't been like looking doing exchanges if that makes sense but with him like i said he just got me in a moment you know i'm grown i was single and one thing just led to another but is it something like i would just hit him up like hey i want to like have sex with you like fuck no like that was just something because i was just feeling good probably off the liquor the week whatever um we all if you don't know y'all i'm very lightweight so don't take much for me to start feeling tipsy and stuff and i don't know if you guys would think like he probably took advantage of me in the moment because i was in his house and everything but at the end of the day i'm grown so if i wanted to do something with them i can but is that something i probably would have just did just to do no but it was like the spur of the moment so here's another thing another thing since also he want to like lie so much about me and want to say i'm trash and stuff here's another thing and this is where i say this is where it gets personal because i don't really put too much of my private life out there but because the only another reason why i'm only sharing this is because i'm not the only woman who've been through this there's a lot of women who probably at least encountered this at least once in their life that's the only another reason why i'm sharing it and you know and i'm just trying to be positive and let this allow this video to be like educational in some type of way as well so basically my test results did come back and I do have to take medicine right now. So basically, at the time I went in, I thought I had a yeast infection because I was feeling itchy off and on, you know, because I know my body. Um, so when I went to go get tested, um, I got tested for everything. I'm talking HIV, STDs, everything. So I was wondering why, like lately, I was kept getting a text um, message because uh, that same day they gave me a prescription to, get, uh, to pick up my yeast um, infection medication. But then, like, a couple days later, I was getting messages. And I'm like, why do I keep getting text messages? I already picked up my medication that same day. Not putting two and two together. So I randomly just called because I haven't noticed any, like, phone calls. And they said, oh, we tempted to call you. And so, basically, um, they told me that um, I ended up getting BV. So, yeah. So I ended up getting BV, but everything else came back great. So I like, I don't got nothing else, but that just popped up. So right after work yesterday, I went straight to the pharmacy and got my medication to start. I have to take two pills a day for seven days. So basically, you guys don't know who gave it to me, right? So I was with my boyfriend. We met in July and I always had great like experience with him. Like he, I never felt off with him, nothing like I never felt the need to go to the doctors from being with him. I felt cool. But the moment I hooked up with Marcus, although we used protection, I think he gave it to me because 
he did went down on me he did oral on me and um that's the only thing i could really think of because like i said when i was with my my boyfriend i felt good and everything and then here i am i hooked up with marcus next thing you know i went to um like we hooked up again or whatever that was the part of the, like the waiting time so i don't my boyfriend well my ex-boyfriend he i don't think he could have gave that to me because even though we do raw but it's like i've known him since july like but we always had raw sex i get with marcus after i was with him i felt the issue like off and on so i really feel like obviously marcus obviously gave it to me you guys can do the math but and this is me keep it completely real i'm honest with you guys i can show you guys proof because i actually got to take a, a pill right now so i'm gonna do with you guys on camera you guys and i thought this was like the super chalky like pills because i don't not i don't like pills at all but um i took one earlier today and it actually wasn't that bad so around this time i should be taking another one this is obviously like my first day of taking it so i have seven days to take it and I just want to use this just as like healing, self-care, because I don't like having to feel weird like down there. So I don't know if it could be maybe from body washing and stuff, but come on now. Like I've been fine when I was with my ex and all of a sudden like I got with him and boom, like I started feeling itchy off and on. So I really feel like he has something to do with that. So... This is it right here. I'm just covering up my personal information. And you guys, I really do not feel good. Oh yeah, they just to take this with food. Um, I did have some applesauce, so. See, I have like a pouting headache, so I'll probably take it after. So this is what it looks like. I'll tell you guys the truth. But I am thankful and blessed that I obviously don't have nothing else. But I just want you guys to know just be careful whoever he do like interviewing stuff i have not told him because i just got my i think i was just told this yesterday yeah i was just told this yesterday so ain't like there's no need for me to like talk to him or tell him anything like you know i feel like all guys just like females should get tested every time you have a new partner whether you do raw no raw like i feel like everybody should go get tested period point blank and Although I didn't need this earlier when I took this pill, but I had got some sour patches just in case if they do leave that nasty like taste in my mouth. But hopefully I don't need it this time as well. And it don't look as chalky. So let me take this really quick. Okay. So I could definitely do this for seven days because Whew, I don't know how I could do it. <laughs> so, I'm telling you guys the truth, you guys don't think I'm lying. And um, I'm just not that type of person. And um, although I love talking about things in my life and everything, I don't, of course, I want people to get the wrong message of me. You know, and oh yeah, that's another thing. I just want to say thank you guys for all the comments and all the love that you guys have been giving me. I love it. I just want you guys to understand though that first, obviously, I am a mother, so I'm obviously with the kids at times, and I um I do have like a nine to five job, and I try to respond to at least every positive thing that I see. Like I try to like at least comment everything. So please. Just keep in mind, I may not get to everyone all the time, but don't mean it doesn't mean I don't see your comment or anything. It doesn't mean like I have something against you. It's just it's starting to get it's starting to become a lot of y'all. <laughs> like it's starting to become a lot of you guys commenting and stuff. So it's not like I can get to every single person and me not get like stressed out or just overwhelmed or you know what I mean because I have other things going on too in my life. Like or else I would just be constantly on YouTube every like second of the day but i like i appreciate the love and everything so that's pretty much it um i'm just taking care of myself and going back to the healthy person that i am and just make sure y'all just know these guys are dirty too 
and um just make sure you're being safe out here and um definitely if you're a jew definitely please get tested don't wait every couple months like no do not do that but i think i probably covered everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm not making a video about him no more so if he come tries to respond back or if anybody try to respond back no because i call myself clearing everything up in this video so i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys like this video hit the push notifications subscribe to my youtube channel and see you guys next time Bye.